damn it, Annie, you piece of fucking shit. You look like the shit I shit at. Get the girl, black bitch. She's gonna punk you all the time. I grew up around like white kids, and so dark skin girls never seem to like me. But I'm gonna come back, guns blazing. <laughs> She look like a black witch. Chicken headed ass ho! And you gotta cringe shall weave ho! Why are you trying to pretend like you wanna change? You're the same evil ass bitch that you been. Sometimes like like people's feelings, I really don't give a f Danny, you're being a bad friend. You're being a bad friend. What are you doing? You were my friend! I've I'm always been your friend. I've always stood. I was always a good friend to you. Just show me I'm not your friend. You're not my friend! What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, The Unpopular Party, hosted by me, Party Next Shore, and today, I'm here to give y'all a Natalie Nunn exposed video. Now, I ain't gonna like just expose her too much, because I don't know much about the girl, but I'm just saying, just to give you like a brief history of who is this girl, because I know for a fact, I grew up watching Natalie, I was watching like BGC4, seven or eighth grade, probably shouldn't have been watching it, but hey. So, my perspective of Natalie will be very different than someone of the younger generation, because we're not gonna search all the way back from that time frame. But I know, because I grew up watching her on BGC, C13, All Star Battle Love Games, other networks. I just always hear her in the news with some mess. Like, I, I know Natalie. And that's why I be so hard on Natalie. I'm like, girl, you don't live that life for real. You, you're not about it. And it's not to like diminish her character or anything. I'm just showing y'all Natalie from my perspective. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you want to, you know, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Shout out to my Patreon people. I did get some new Patreon members. I want to give a special Special shout out to Cash Wavy, uh, Veronica Reed, Tyra, Billy, Harry. Thank y'all for joining the Patreon family. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Let's take it back all the way from the beginning to when I first got introduced to Miss Natalie Nunn, and that was when she popped up on BGC4. So back in 2009, she appeared on the fourth season of Bad Girls Club. Bad Girls Club was like really popular and it was on the Oxygen Network. Instantly when she first appeared on the scene, you know, she had a very opinionated mindset. She definitely caught the viewers' attention, you know, good or bad, because she was always talking about some, I run LA, I run LA. 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 You know, like Natalie was a valley girl. I always talked about like the valley, and she only run with high end people. I run LA. Everybody knows me here, not only because I went to USC. I run with an elite group of people. We can go to hide right now, the exclusive spot where everybody's at right now, and we're good. The first episode, upon arriving into the house, she was speaking on like different cast members. In fact, the cast member in particular, Portia, when she first saw her, she was like, "Oh, this is the black girl." You're gonna get the ghetto black bitch. She's gonna punk you all the time. But first episode of Natalie, she was just putting it all out there. Cause she had not only thoughts about the cast, but she also had thoughts about Chris Brown putting his hands on Rihanna. Chris Brown's at high. Do you like Chris Brown? No. What do you mean no? He beat up his girlfriend. Why would I like Who cares? Cause she was girlfriend. a punk bitch. She got her ass beat for a reason. There's no reason to beat a girl. Yeah, Rihanna's crazy. You don't know her. I don't care. You don't. You know, Natalie liked to say her and Chris Brown like this. Now, a big altercation that she got into on that season, which was also the opening fight, was when we had Portia versus Natalie. Now, Portia was the cast member that Natalie referred to as too black. They didn't like each other. They didn't really get along. But one day they got into an argument. They had just went out and out and about. And they was both taking some digs at each other. Natalie was telling her how, you know, she's a bad mom. Portia was saying my daughter would never have to open her legs open for a BMW. You can talk to your team Hideout just don't work out very well. Do you let black people in your bar often? I really feel bad. I'm so sorry. I no, I honestly do. Because don't stereotype all black people, okay? Funny, because I have more money in the bank to buy everyone a taxi home. We should all go separately so we can think about things. I haven't even heard more than two words about her daughter. I heard more about her boyfriend. Tell me about your daughter, and then you're a real. Well, Portia was one to not play about her kids. Natalie said something about her kids, like, you know, be a mom to your kids, and that's when Portia just snapped. Worry about your daughter, because you're the one who's having kids and don't know who the dad is. Where are you, you 
stupid bitch, you wanna bring my child apart? Portia did go home, but this season it was a lot of Fight, makeup, I hate you, I love you. Most all the BS, they kind of just like acted like sisters in the house. Sometimes the fights that Natalie was in, she knew who to play with. She mainly got into it with people she thought she had a one up with or she could handle. Her and Kate stayed into it. She spit on Kate twice, in which Kate is a good one. Then her and Kate, they'll get into it, be friends, get into it again. She tried to punk Annie out. She stayed talking about poor little Annie. And her and Amber would get into it as well. She really played Flo. Now, if you don't know, Flo was on this season. And Flo would be considered as one of the OGs to this BGC Empire. Well, but she played flow in the sense like she would always be up in that girl face on some I'm your friend I'm your friend and the second Natalie got the chance to she switched up on flow The house wanted to get rid of her and Natalie was right there throwing water balloons at that girl I flow fall her at the reunion Natalie tried to leave the house. I try to stop her people have problems I try to stop them, but when I left she stood there smiling. Why is your hand? Yo, open? don't get small Why? She pretends to be your friend and she's not your friend. She will she called me last night, trying to kiss my ass. Flo just didn't come out on like some rah-rah stuff. She found out that girl was talking about her. There was one friendship that I really wanted to touch up on that season, and it was Kendra and Natalie. Now, I will say, Kendra and Natalie, they whole relationship dynamic, it started off rough. One night when they was all leaving the club, it was a conversation that started to get heated between them. Mind you, they all in the limo and they all drunk. Natalie didn't want to talk, so she's moving and stuff like that. Kendra kept talking. Next thing you know, Natalie said, boom, and just hit the girl. BGC at this time was shifting. Like, you couldn't put your hands on people. If you fought, you was getting sent home. But in this season, they had this rule, like, where the person who got hit first or assaulted, they had the choice to either let you stay or send you home. So the decision was up to Kendra to let Natalie stay. And Natalie was like, Kendra, I'm sorry. You know, I really didn't mean it, you know. And Kendra was like, okay, no, but don't let me look stupid. So Kendra let her stay, and from there, they was like this. They was like the BFFs of the house. And Natalie would always say, you know, I'm just gonna dress Kendra up as a mini me. We're gonna get her a new wig. Kendra is turning into a mini me. A monster. This weave looks like She thought Kendra was just like a little doll that she could just like play with. Then what happened, they got into it later on again that season. So I wasn't surprised to see because Amber had said their relationship was always like weird. One second they hate each other, the next second they love each other. One second they talking about each other, the next second they all up in each other's face. But while on a mini trip, it was Kendra, Natalie, Amber, and Lexi, the replacement at the time. They went on a little trip. It was just bad vibes from the get-go. You know how you go out of town, you just be antsy with your friend, y'all just always arguing, and you just always like, okay, like chill out. That's how they were. Now, there was two situations in particular where like, I guess the cops like, not that they pulled them over, the cops stopped them while they was walking along the street. They was talking to Natalie about something. Kendra tried to step in and talk to the officer and just be like, why are y'all talking to her like that? Natalie was like, look, I got it. Mind you, they had just argued like 15 minutes before that as well. But now Kendra trying to be back the hero and say today. Did you have to have intent to create a crime? If you don't back away, I'm going to arrest you right now. Kendra's trying to talk to the police right now and she needs to understand that she needs to back up because she's a little Natalie and I'm Natalie, let me do my job. What code is it in the Santa Barbara County? I'm just so bad because all they were saying was, I got the ticket! I got the ticket! Kendra and Natalie is arguing. Mind you, Lexi and Amber is just confused. Push me like this and think she's gonna get away with it. is a monster right now, and I have created every inch of it. The police has no, 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 Honestly, Kendra, you need to know, you really empower, and every now and then I'll give you the throne, but really you need to just sit down and pop your brakes. I'm gonna be quiet because you want to tell me for the 15th time that you got a ticket? Who cares? I was out on the street looking crazy, but she wants everybody else to hear her issue. I don't have to listen to I don't want to. I have to come back here and take care of it. Welcome to my life. With the ticket, you can pay that. When you want them tickets, you can pay that in the mail. Welcome to you now. Kendra. No, what's the real We're not going to fight. We're not going to fight. No, we're not. We're not. So guess what? What are you doing? And Kendra is just like, what are you doing? So Amber tried to step in and break it up. Next thing you know, all I hear Amber, I'm trying to help you. It ain't fine. It's so confusing. So that's when Natalie left the BGC for a house. Talking to her about that at the reunion. At that time, they were cool again because Kendra said her and Natalie have a relationship to where it benefit with each other. I think, I don't put the words in my but I think they had a little something with Marcus because they said they had a secret day with Marcus, but they're not cool to this day though. So, 
Even though that was Natalie's exit from the BGC4, that was definitely not her exit from the BGC universe. She attracted a lot of attention and Natalie at the time, she was one of the people you, you like her or you hate her. It's no in between. She was literally like the girl to dislike and she knew that was her brand. She used to always say, I am America's favorite bad girl. And I believe no matter the hate that she received, she still liked it because it was some type of attention. So let's fast forward to the next thing she was on. So she came back to the Oxygen Network and she participated on to Love Games. So Love Games was the show that BC used to do back in the day because it wasn't all about fighting. You know, the bad girls wanted to be loved too. So that one was Love Games, which was pretty interesting. I like to see that dynamic. So she went on that show with Leah and Amber B. Now while there though, Natalie did play the game, but one thing I remember in particular is that her and Amber got into a little argument. Now Amber, not a fighter. Now if you remember the Amber, you know, did, 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 this is the Amber show. I'm showing my, I'm showing my age with that one. <laughs> but Amber wasn't a fighter, but she was shady and she read, she read Natalie. Natalie did not like that. So one day, her and Allie is arguing about something stupid. Allie starts going back and forth. She's like, you know, why Why did you want to be on BGC? Oh, because you lied about it. Something was brought up about ID. Amber said, oh, we can check IDs. Let's grab your ID. Let's just say man or female on it, though. And I don't think Natalie liked the fact that all the guys were like, oh. So what does Natalie do? <laughs> Natalie from the best, she pump up. And now she attack Amber. Then why were you on Bad Girls Club? Because I lied to get on. Oh. You lied to get on. Yeah. Lies after lies after lies okay. after lies. Look at these guys' faces and me telling them all of her dirt. I'm so excited. I love it. How old are you? How old are you? How 25. Are you? How old are you? Oh, really? Really? You're 25? How, how do we know that? How do we know that? My ID. Let's how do we know that? Here. Here's my ID. Why don't we take a look at my ID? Let's take a look at your ID. We though. can take a look at my ID. Say male or female on there first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's starting to realize that Natalie is just like a gremlin with a chin. And it was like, you know that you knew that girl wasn't finna hit you back. You knew that girl was not finna fight you like that. The girl started crying. So now the view, we just see her as like a little arrogant bully because she she wouldn't have tried that with Leah. But she was brought back for more BGC specials and she was popping up on various projects. One of those projects she popped up on was Bridezilla. So if you don't know, Natalie Nunn is married, put a pin in that. And she was featured in the Wii TV show Bridezilla. Of course, they cast the most obnoxious. Why? Because it's, it's Bridezilla. They're not going to cast no, no good bride. They wanted the most obnoxious, arrogant women getting ready for their wedding. I ain't gonna lie, Natalie was tweaking on Jacob. Natalie was like going off on Jacob, cussing him out, yelling. Uh, it was just a mess. You better slow the f down because I'm walking with you. My mother family standing at the airport right now. What you talking about? Jacob, you're so wack. I will never talk to you again. And your mom, dad, everybody can wait the f at the airport. Thinking all of this shit. You want to f her right girl? now, Jacob? Give a damn you want to f her right now, Jacob? Together. No. You should have a right. People at the airport. You then. Like I said, Natalie and Jacob have been married for a good little minute since that premiered in what, 2009, 2011? But you know, the streets talk, allegedly. You know, people have always said that they have an open marriage or an arranged marriage. Cause you know, Natalie wanted the perks of being married and getting like all these spinoffs into great more of a brand. And allegedly Jacob wanted to hush up the gay rumors that was being spread about him because People were saying that that man was gay. Now, I can't speak on that man's sexuality because I don't know, but they were saying he was gay and then it didn't make it no better when he was posted up with this corn star, gay corn star at their uh, trap boy. They had to, they had took a picture together. But it's funny though, cause Nally said, nah, my man, my man. She, when I tell you, she hopped on that internet quick and cleared it up. She said, I, I, I host events. <laughs> And I host LGBTQ events, and this was at Pride, and a fan wanted to take a picture, so my husband can't take pictures with fans. In which, hey, I don't know if that's true or if that's not true. Like I said, I can't speak on that. That's all alleged. However, one thing I will give Miss Natalie, as much as I'm about to talk, I do feel like the marriage is legit. Now, Jacob and Natalie, from what I have seen, they're just like the boy and girl version of each other. Yeah, Natalie and her husband, they're like the same person. They look alike, they act alike. I feel like they act alike behind closed doors. Jacob look like he'll get rice by with her. So like, even if he was gay, I feel like they would have the understanding to be like, let's just do this. They probably best friends behind closed doors. I don't know. That's what a pinpoint in their marriage. So Natalie was still doing BGC shows and one show that she popped up on was All Star Battle. And this is when I first remember people coming for her age on the show. Cause she was like 28, 29 at the time. But you know, girls younger than her, older, like 23, 22, they're like, you keep saying you run LA and stuff like that, but ain't you married? Like go be a married woman. Or they'll be like, you just too old to be acting the way to act there. Also, she quit the show too when she felt threatened. Like when she felt like they was putting her up and about to send her home, she quit the show. And I never forget when she said, I can go to Africa and get that money in five seconds. I'm international, bitch. 
like Natalie, like I don't like you. I'm gonna keep it real. Everyone decides to tell Natalie that they hate her guts. So our little discussion ends up being World War One. When I first got here, like I'm not gonna lie, I don't with you on some real. We not gonna be painting each other nails. After telling Natalie I didn't like her, she gets up and storms to the bathroom like a three year old child. I'm always sitting here and being in defense mode. If you don't like me, get I don't give a. F don't like me, but we're here to play a game. No, and I'm not gonna play the game. I'm gonna ask you right now before this becomes a problem. Start bringing my downstairs and now. Okay. If someone puts their hand and touches me on the way out, it's gonna be a problem. Don't understand how you quit like, like that before an elimination. Yeah, that's, that was like you're a coward and you gave up. Where's my stuff? Bitches be like, so she's putting the Bitches be like, I'm rich, but I got holes in my bag. Oh. All of like always attack Natalie, but I still went hard for my team. I'm right. sorry, you're a sore loser. I'm always the bad guy. Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. I can fly to Africa and get that money in five seconds. I'm international, bitch. And I wonder how. But this is where her beef with Megan started. Well, it didn't start here. They had some Twitter battle, but you know, Megan pretty much told Natalie, like, look, I don't like you. And it was a lot of commotion going on within the first day. Once Natalie came back to the show, I guess she thought about it and she was like, no, nah, I'm not quitting. But she came back to the show and Rocky and Flo had got into it. They quit. While this commotion going on, Natalie just really started going off on Megan. And Megan, like, who are you talking to? So she trying to run up. And mind you, Natalie know security is all up front and stuff like that. She took it upon herself. She get mad and she hit the screen. Out of nowhere, Natalie calls me a bitch. In a very tense elimination. It's like you couldn't fight Megan, but you want to hit this screen. Even at the reunion, Natalie brought a security guy just so, just so people in touch. And it's like she do this a lot. She like to do her little dirt, but she don't want nobody to hit her or react to her. Also, in this season, you know, Stasi had to fight her because she didn't like the way Natalie was acting. And which Erica said Natalie won that little fight. So, you know, you did that one little, you did that one little one thing. I to her with like people within the house, like the Victor twins, Julie. I remember she threw a bottle of alcohol on Julie's face. I forgot to mention this as well, but Amber from BGC3 was on this season and that was Natalie's only other friend. So it was the situation where the pink team was supposed to vote out against Megan and Natalie was the only supposed to have two votes, but she saw she had a third vote. And Amber actually voted Natalie out because Amber was like, you know, if Natalie had the chance, she would cut me like a bad habit. So I'm gonna go and vote to get rid of her, but Amber never, never admitted to it. So Natalie held on to she was like, who voted for me? Who voted for me? She made this the whole issue until Amber finally admitted to her, like, yeah, it was me that voted for you. And Natalie was pissed. So much so, like, to this day, Amber said, to this day, Natalie has not forgiven her for that. And it's like, dang, you know, like, it's never fun when someone not being a friend to you. Like, when someone doing some stuff, like, and someone doing you, how you could potentially do someone else and you don't like that. See, it's never fun when the rabbit got the gun. Now, she did get, like, buddy-buddy with some girls, like Jen and Erica. But this era of Natalie, like, she was arguing. When I say arguing, I mean, like, Twitter beefing. Twitter beefing was her thing. She would just get on Twitter and she would just be talking about people. I remember she got into a heavy with the Victor twin, Megan, of course. She threw some tea out about Ashley from BGC6, and she was like, let me tell y'all how we got into it. Bermuda at that. But yeah, she got into it with Rocky, Shannon, Julie, Tanisha, Jasmine. She told Jasmine, hey, send me your address. I will send you these bundles. Even her and Amber Rose had a little tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a good little bit to go, but her and Amber Rose got into it, and I want to say it was about Wiz Khalifa. I took like a picture with Wiz, but she was also saying little jabs on Twitter about Amber, and Amber trying to take the high road, you know, I have nothing bad to say about Natalie. She needs to have her own prayers. Some people called it bullying, some called it attention seeking, and some just called it Natalie being Natalie. Now, also in this era, that's how she ended back on the BGC franchise. She was picked for BGC 13, the all-star season. And what was this season mainly centered around, at least the first half, was Natalie using Judy. I think about Judy, she loved her some Natalie Nunn. Most than like, I idolize you, point of view. I remember on all-star battle, Judy was like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe one day me and Natalie can become friends and we'll shout each other out on Instagram, meet some of her celebrity friends. And Natalie knew this. And when she got the opportunity, she played into that vulnerability and weakness of Judy on BGC 13. I just didn't know why you didn't like me. I didn't not like you. I just think you're crazy. Me and Natalie in the past have had a lot of Twitter beefs, arguments, just a lot of hate stuff going back and forth. It's been like very, very crazy. I have a really big problem with Judy. I've had her blocked on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook for five years since 
before she was even on the show. She has been obsessed with me. She, like, can't get it together, and that bothers me. You don't want to see season four, Natalie. I'm not just a drunk, and I, that's what I don't understand, why you don't see Because I haven't seen me. You have to get it together. I can help Judy to better herself. She, like, can't get it together, and that bothers me. So at this point, she wants me to take her under my wing. Like, you always think crazy's funny. I'm not going to give you crazy work. Bitch, you're weird. How about that? Danny and everyone keep saying that they're your only friends. That's not true. I'm your friend, too. I want to be your friend. Can you listen to this? Come to me. While we're here on the show, be with me. Be confident. Be like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to go with Natalie and Sarah. Yeah. I want to go with Natalie and Sarah. House pretty much knew that if Judy was easily impressed by I want to say she, I think she lost her dad at this time. So Natalie would come in and she would act like she's helping Judy. And teach her things like a big sister. Like, this is how you do your hair. This is how you do your nails. Take her on like little business meetings she's going on. You know, it'll be Natalie, Sarah, and Judy. And Judy was like really taking a liking to that. What are you putting on your head? That spray paint? Look at my fingers. No, I know. You're spray painting black everywhere. We're going to use good products on your head. Okay. Not spray paint. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am hanging out with Natalie. Like, she's taking the extra steps to actually help me become better. Just because Natalie did my hair and makeup doesn't make her a friend. But it definitely is important right now that somebody is caring about me because I felt like everybody hated me and didn't care about me the first couple nights living in this house. I'm excited to go with Natalie and Sarah to get my nails done today. And I'm actually shocked because they were the last people I thought would actually give any type of care about me and it's confusing me because I don't understand why Julie and Danny didn't do that. Question for you. Mm -hmm. Your relationship with Danny and Julie is what? Because like I know you say that you're they're your best friends, but like is she really your best friend in the whole wide world? Or do you think that they cocktail right on you? Because you're more popular than them. If they were your friends, why would they have you running around with your hair not done, no makeup on, your nails looking crazy? Like what kind I know. of things are gonna do you? Like I already that? know. The people at my meeting mm -hmm. today that I'm gonna introduce you to too. Mm -hmm. It's the publisher. His name's Hoyt, and then the chief editor for Star Magazine is gonna be there. That's not gonna put my business card on. Bring a business card. Okay. I'm excited to be going on this book outing because I do sell my own lashes, but my goal here is to definitely become a businesswoman and further my brand and Natalie has like a business mentality. Everything is going great. I'm literally realizing that there's a lot to put into it like professionalism, the way you dress, what to talk about and I am very very happy to be experiencing all this education. So much so she got into it with her own friend because walking into the show she was like best friends with like Danny and Julie. They was like this but that Natalie situation caused such a division. Natalie was so manipulative she put the battery in her back and now Judy asks and Danny like why is it that Y'all let me walk around the house, hair looking a mess. Danny, like, girl, you was a grown woman. We've been around you for the longest. You know what it is. Like, Nally's just feeding into your weaknesses right now. And that was the truth, because Nally knew what she was doing. The day, yeah, she's following you around, but she's gonna make you look like a fool. I literally don't know half that is really honestly even going on. I'm really upset when I see Natalie talking to the other girls because I know she doesn't like them. And when I open up, I get really attached to people, and I'm very afraid of getting hurt. I have a question. Why are you chit-chatting with them? Listen, all I did was sit outside for one second. If anything, like, I just went outside it's to talk everybody. to everybody. Because they're honestly nice people, and that's why I wanted to be friends with everybody, too. Thank you, Natalie. Don't get sad. Like, don't cry, because I'm not trying to make anybody upset. Like, you're going... No, well, it's fine. You're... Um, she just felt like her feelings were hurt because you were out they talking be hurt. for a long My time. My feelings because... were hurt the other day. I thought the whole no. time. I thought the whole time I was outside. You guys doing something. No, we were on the phone. Oh, well, that's great. Okay, I'm done. I'm standing up for myself to everybody because I am a real bitch. No, you're not a real bitch. You're fake as Mad at me. That's what it is. She wants to be where I am. What did you say? Look, I... All I know is... I said about going to hit you. Was there 12 people on my couch? You know I'm going to do You haven't thrown that drink yet. Okay. I'm going to throw my Sarah and I go to Fogany Chow for lunch and we decide to make a list. Pros and cons. Why Judy should be in the house and why she should leave. Another pro would be they're going to be mad at her for a while instead of us. <laughs> <laughs> Judy is not a fighter and she admits to it. One reason that we would want her to go home is only so, like, for her safety. We don't want her bullied every day. Now even said on the phone, she was like, I'm literally playing your puppet master right now. <laughs> and we can't forget about her therapy session. The live call, she literally said, like, people's feelings, I really don't give a f Sometimes, like, like people feelings I really don't give a and that's how I got to this big ordeal with the opening fight. Now, mind you, for the most part, what we saw, Natalie and Camilla was cool. They would do the making it to the mansion special together. And they had a good working relationship, but it was something when they got in their house, they got into it real bad. She found out Natalie was talking about her behind her back. So, you know, it's Sarah, Judy, and Natalie. And it's like, I'm about to make this house go upside down. Do you want to see a magic show? I can make this whole house go upside down just like that. 
I know Danny and everyone keeps saying that they're your only friends. That's not true. I'm your friend too. I want to be your friend. While we're here, we're going to be friends. I promise. So, I'm literally playing puppet master right now. Judy, that poor girl, literally you should have seen her on All Star Battle. All she wanted was for Natalie to take her seriously. So you're instigating. <laughs> and it's the rest of the house, they just sick of it at this point. They sick of Natalie, they sick of her antics, Red sick of Natalie, Camilla and Natalie's her argument. Natalie said something so low down to Camilla, Camilla was so pissed off. And you know, Camilla the type, when she gets so mad and she can't do nothing about it, like tears come down. So she was crying, but not because she was sad, she was like she really wanted to hurt her. Also this season, to add a little bit more contest, they really didn't want them to fight. Different views trying to show y'all more y'all business side it was like if you fight boom you was out of here and i think it was like a little bonus or something they would get for not fighting allegedly but the stakes was high for fighting so that's why they really didn't like fight or get into it like that this season i remember Cam uh, now they saying something like camilla's getting her hair done and camilla like, i sure am but i think now said something about camilla getting pimped out and that's what hit a nerve and that's where also the beef originated with red because rocky walked into the phone booth because rocky friend picked up and you know Natalie picked up talking and rocky was like uh-uh next thing you know you know, Rocky and Natalie get into a fight and Red jump into the fight and Red bites her. Red got sent home, Natalie got sent home, yeah. From there, she stayed cool with Sarah and Judy here and there. Uh, and she'll be spotted out with other girls here and there, but she was also getting spotted out with other celebrities. Like, you know, she was posted up with Lil' Kim and other people. So at this point, Natalie's like, oh, she's a star. I remember Erica from BGC9 though. She did say like, Natalie know her character. Because when the cameras are off and it's just them, like she could really be like a chill, cool purple. When them cameras come on it's like Natalie Nunn to the team. Also in this era of Natalie Nunn, this is when the scamming started. You know, they tried to say she was scamming because she tried to do this bad boys club thing. Now this is before Zeus and Liam Palmer got in, uh, involved. She tried to do the bad boys club, but Oxygen wasn't picking it up. Oxygen wasn't trying to put it out there. You know, Oxygen time, Oxygen was like a woman's base platform. So it didn't make sense to put, do a bad boys club. So Natalie couldn't call it bad boys club, so she called it bad boys USA. So it was like an audition process. Natalie Sarah and Judy and Flo was there to do it. They had boys coming out, auditioning, and it was a trailer out. I can't find this trailer, but it was definitely a trailer out. Yeah, if you remember the, if you remember the trailer, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be how bad is this now? It was a bus going around and it was called Bad Boys USA. And I remember it because one of the boys on that trailer, he was like, I'm auditioning because I'm a bad boy. He was like, I was sleeping with a married man and his wife at the same time. I like I remember. But they said she was scamming people. I remember someone was talking about on TikTok. So, Natalie Nunn, back in 2014, you hosted a Bad Boys audition and charged them $25 to $50 just to submit a casting. I have all the receipts of all the boys that were doing green screens for this casting because I used to be behind the scenes doing some tea work. I've been doing this shit, so put some respect on my motherfucking name. This was the house that it was filmed in. It was Sarah Flo, Judy, and Natalie hosting the auditions with a production company at the time that wasn't really known, and the project got scrapped. So she just left that project and moved on to other projects. Here's some of the paperwork, just so y'all know that this is not bullshit. This was actually a real casting call that she hosted back in 2014, 2015. This was Bad Boys USA, um, yeah. This was an audition that she did back in 2021, if I'm not mistaken, when she was doing the whole Bad Girls Club on OnlyFans before Zeus picked it up. It's the simple fact that she would go ahead and go to Zeus and produce one and two seasons and give them the free opportunity to audition and be very biased with your casting, but not give the boys that paid you back in 2014 an opportunity to show you why they're a bad boy. Boy. And where are you guys from? DC. I'm also from Northwest DC. Do you like think, it. who was your favorite judge? Who do you think was really vibing with you when you were up there talking? Flo. Flo was? Yeah. What I think this is why people started becoming more turned off with Natalie because it's just like, you would do the same thing over and over again no matter what platform you own. She's constantly still acting as if she's like this young bad girl in 2009 as she's getting older and older. People are just like, when are we gonna see that different side of Natalie? For example, so now like I said, Natalie was just popping up on shows. So Lifetime decided to do this thing called the Mother Daughter Project. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that. Make some clap if you have. But it had all these celebrities and their daughters under one roof to like try to mend whatever 
broken her a move past it. Shar Jackson was on there. Uh, one of the girls from the house was on there. But Natalie's in this house. And she's trying to pick an argument with the daughters. And mind you, the daughters are like 17, 18, 19. They're young. Natalie is not no brain chicken at this time. But I guess in her mind, since she was on there as a daughter, she's like, oh, I'm finna, I'm finna spike it up. So she go at one of the daughters because she's like, were you guys talking about me and my past and what I was doing? The kids like, I mean, we may have Google you because you was on bad girls, but we were just trying to figure out who you are. And she just started just going in. completely irrational. I didn't excuse you guys, and you I don't know. Okay, okay, so that was following you. Natalie's 30 years old. She's a woman, and these are young ladies, and they're still young girls. Then she did other projects like Marriage Boot Camp. She was on Marriage Boot Camp with Jacob. She must show the dynamics of their marriage. Like she, Natalie wanted to be able to do whatever she wanted to do, but Jacob can't. She didn't even want that man walking around with his shirt off, but you can post booty pictures. Post a picture on Instagram. She's, she's tweaking at this point. Just gonna go like that. How is this showing a dress? Right here. You, you can can't stand it. up and show it from the side? Just take the picture, Jacob. Take the picture. I took a picture already. Take one more. And tell me, count like you're supposed one, to. Thank you. Two, Three. Jacob is doing a horrible job on purpose. At this point, you need to do one, two, three, fearless. One, two, three, beautiful. You're just literally, don't do that. Yeah, like she walking up to these girls, putting cake and stuff, trying to throw stuff. It was typical BGC Natalie. And Jacob even had to tell that girl, we're not in the BGC house no more. Then it was announced that she would be on Celebrity Big Brother. And they filmed that over in the UK. And I was watching her best moments just to try to get a recap of what it was. But it was just same old Natalie. It, it wasn't like when New York was on her. That was entertaining. And Natalie was st still trying to live off the same height. And what happened, she was the first one voted off. But, but, but here's where it gets interesting. They tried to get a little scandal out of the situation because during this era Natalie cheated on Jacob and had a drunk steamy threesome that was reported so it said that the threesome happened in the UK while they was filming Celebrity Big Brother and it says Natalie Nunn housemaid Chloe something spilled the tea to the sun Natalie Nunn and Dave Osborne at a hotel Dan cheated on his girl Jacqueline of her and Natalie. She stated, and this is the son, we all had a lot to drink and a threesome happened. We had full sex with Natalie in front of me in a bathroom and they kissed and performed a sex act on me. Now granted, I do believe that could be true. But what got me, it was given to me, you thought you was gonna go far in this season and when you was the first one sitting home, you had to think of your toes and come with some some quick. Y'all put this little story out. Cause it could have been true, but what got me was the Daily Mail covering it and then added the paparazzi pictures of Jacob moving out. And I was like, oh, y'all dragging it. Cause mind you, this is like 2018, 2019. Natalie wasn't like, she was like relevant, relevant like she was now. She still was out there, you know, and there was some rumbling about her maybe on Love and Hip Hop as lyrical friend. And she was like gearing up traction in that point of view. But she wasn't all like be on the news type. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Then she would get on Instagram and be like, Jacob, I love you, please come back. I can't lose you. It's like, oh, he moved out and moved his stuff. So what really happened? Break it down for us. So there was a whole, when I went overseas to London to do Celebrity Big Brother, um, I didn't know none of those people. Like, they were celebrities in the UK. So I moved in the house and I'm like, you know, there was like this one young girl who's the one who came out and said all this. Her name's Chloe. And she, I didn't know, I was like, so the first day I was like, what are you famous for in London? Like, I, I don't know the cast. Like, I don't know you guys. And she's like, oh, I'm famous for being kidnapped. And I was like, a kidnap? Like, huh? Like a big kidnapping scandal. And like, literally, she's like, the whole, I made up a whole lie about being kidnapped. And became what? Wow. Girl, like, wow. So then, so she's really good with the tabloids and making stories to become famous. Like, it's a whole thing. And so, I didn't believe it. I said, that's not what she's fucking here. This bitch cannot be famous for this. So then, after the show, she starts saying, I had a threesome with Natalie Nunn and Dan Osborne. And now, mind you, Dan, the one that was also in the house with us, is very big over there. Like, he's like, him and his wife are big stars over there. Like, whatever shows they do over there, I don't even know what they're called. That's something X6, it's big shows. And so she starts saying, like, these rumors and stuff. And I was like, I was like, Chloe, I hit her up and was like, Chloe, what the fuck are you talking about? And it became the biggest scandal of the UK because now I don't know much about Dan's history, but he's popping over there. Like, he's that right. token white boy that all the girls love, and he's always in some shit. Like, he's the bad boy. Uh, and so they caught him multiple times doing shit. So I think Chloe was on some, like, this is a great like this is a great way to kind of get my name buzzing again and just made up this whole fucking threesome with dan osborne and this guy said <laughs> if i said this whole situation was publicity stuff because i can't speak on what sarah's saying then i don't know but people have always said that natalie cheats on her husband
husband. Even when they was on All Star Battle, they went out to the club. We were like, now I don't think cheating on your husband comes with, you know, being out and about. Girl did say she'd be going to Jamaica and with them African oil tycoon. And while she said, you know, you be getting shitted on for a Birkin bag allegedly. I can only speak about from what I saw. And what I saw on Reddit was some of her OnlyFans footage that was leaked. Yeah, Natalie has an OnlyFans page and she was like naked. Roly leaked that picture of her, just like aired out. I saw this on Reddit and I would never forget it. So, what I saw was Natalie hooking up with other girls and one of those girls was Scotty from Baddies. Maybe that's how they was introducing Scotty on this Baddies show. But what I saw picture-wise, which was been floating around on, on Twitter, was Scotty sucking on, you know, Areola and Natalie was making a moaning face. But the video I saw, Natalie and Scotty was clearly drunk and Natalie is naked from the West End. Mm -hmm. And they banging pots and pans, just laughing, having a good time. Cute, right? The next video I see, Natalie is just on the bed. It's just spread open. And Scotty and some other woman, but whoever that other woman was, she walk in and she just start going to town. And Scotty just there in the background, you know. I, technically, I can't say I saw Scotty and Natalie hook up because they didn't, mm, from what I saw, but that other girl, she she was there. And, and Scotty was just there touching, you know, doing what she doing. Yeah, obviously I can't post a video because YouTube would be like, mm. But you know, that's what the streets be saying. She's like a lady pimp. And that's out of my control, allegedly. So when she trying to talk about her marriage as if it's like some, I'm like, the ones who know, no, that's why when she was on live with Rock, and Scott, and Rock was like, you're married, and Natalie like, yeah, girl, I've been married for a minute. Hey, so who over there fucking you? Because, why are you just Girl, I'm at home with my family, my husband and my daughter. You have a husband? <laughs> Rock, I'm hanging up this live. Ooh, yeah, you yeah, I'm hanging up this live. I'm hanging up this live. What? Yes, I have a husband. I've been married for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. taking up on you. No, because well, I noticed that so you have <clears throat> Hey, 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 hey. Huh? You, what? A husband? I'm, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm respecting the fact that you, you have a husband. Home. You want to say hi to, you want to say hi? Now she with Curtis apparently and they doing what they do, but hey. But yeah, from the moment Natalie got with Zeus, cause now we in the Zeus era. From the moment Natalie got with Zeus, she had an end goal, which was to be BGC revamped. Because she know that's when she got her spotlight and her fame from. And how that all originated, I talked about it in my Zeus Network Exposed video. She got the inspiration to revamp BGC, seeing Blueface do his show, Blue Girls Club that Krishan was in. See how stuff just be, you know what I'm saying? But Natalie knew her reputation with my generation is tainted. So what's the next best thing to do? Go down to the younger generation because they don't know no better and they're not finna Google stuff. Go after the younger generation and be BGC and try to swipe away some of that, you know, old memories and stuff like that. Nah, nah. And you know what's crazy? The thing that she do on baddies, it's the same formula because what happened? When this whole situation was starting out, she had got into it with Gabby and Victor and Erica them real bad. And people was picking sides and stuff like that so they can have this special. And who was on her side at the time? Christina. They got to the house on Baddies ATL. Who did she get into it with? She got into it with not only Christina, but she got into it with Sarah. And Sarah was her old doll. Sarah was a girl like this. And she got into it with Judy again. Spitting on people was not cool. Oh, Natalie, you spit on Kate on season four. Okay, that was 11 years ago. And I owned up to that and I, and I apologize. So that's the only thing on that season that I wasn't cool about. Oh, that's like, that's like saying racist things like certain people and no. saying I like black men. Ha <laughs> ha. But Natalie is the same person that said nose too big. What happened? On your season. What? Portia. Her nose was too big. No, I didn't. Gorilla nose. Yes, no. you did. I never ever in my life said such a thing. There's nothing like that I call someone a gorilla nose. No, Judy. It's on TV. Judy, it's, it doesn't exist. No. And on top of that, when they got to the reunion, even girls who was like, I mean, I thought I was cool with her. They was they was pissed off with her at like seven because they found out she was talking about her. Sarah leaked them recorders and now was dogging everybody out. Then we get to Batty South. And what's the dynamic here? Sarah was coming back to have a conversation with Natalie because they fallen out. And now Natalie got her next wingman, which is who? Jayla. And if you don't recall, Jayla was on the episode when she was doing, you know, Batty's Cold. But yeah, her and Jayla got into it. And she also gets into it with Slim and Rolly season, but she was the main one on Instagram Live, going live with all the One More Chance girls and being like, yeah, you guys can come down. We can have a whole bunch of fun. As soon as they don't do something she likes, she switch up on them. Who else was going off on her season two? Sydney Star. Sydney said, you promised me a spot on season two. Like, we've been talking. I'm not crazy. And Natalie just 
was acting like she didn't know. Fast forward to season three. Who was her role dog all of season two? Scotty. And who is she now getting into it with? Scotty. I love you and you really like, just show me I'm like, I'm not your friend. You're not my friend. Like we're not friends. And that shit hurts. What? That really hurts, what hurts me. So now it would dispose you the second she feel like you are not a necessity to her or the second you feel like she can't benefit off you or the second she feel like, hey, this working relationship is no longer valid. Boom, you are cut off and she's on to the net one. But she said it her best. Sometimes like, like people's feelings, I really don't give a and that is all I got on this little Nelly video. Um, that's why a lot of people don't like her because they feel like she's a colorist, a bully, arrogant, and whatever. It's not for me to taint your opinion. It's no in between. You either gotta like her 100% or dislike her 100%. But that is all I have for this video. Please make sure y'all subscribe. Let me know what else y'all wanna see. Let me know if y'all if y'all want me to do another timeline video, maybe like Tommy or some other reality figures. Please put that in the comment section below. I will do it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.